Hello and welcome to another Stute Media tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at the Vlogit app on our Android devices and how to create content. So we're going to fire up the app and you simply log in using your Google account or Facebook account etc. And you'll see here on the front screen that you'll see any kind of videos that you've created. So the three lines in the top right hand corner show the settings. So if we click on that and we can make several adjustments to the app. And one of things we want to do is change the resolution to full HD. We can also put a blur in the background of the video. Uh, we can add key burns effect. We can choose duration of photos etc. So we're going to go ahead and create a short video. So if we click on library and it will load up the library of content that we have on our device but we can also pull in content from our social media channels that we've linked to our account. We can put in solid color pictures. We can choose from various different kind of funky titles that are included in the app. So we can have like a countdown effect, etc. We can choose photos, like I said before, that are on our, on our thing. So we've added the countdown title and you'll notice it's at the bottom of the screen there. So now we're gonna add in our video content and some pictures. So we're just gonna select through our album there. And as you see, each time we click on one, it adds to the bottom of the screen. And so once we've picked them, we can also readjust the where they appear in the timeline uh, before we go into editing so we can take the videos that we've added it and space them out within our countdown and so the next thing we do is we click on the red arrow on the right side and that will generate a video for us now which we can edit so you can see here the first is a countdown there and we have our video clip So while we're looking at our video clip, we can select transitions and edit those so that between the title and the video clip and the next title, everything runs smoothly. So if we click on transitions at the bottom of our screen, we then have different selections of transitions and we can click the add button plus sign and that will show which side of the video transition is. So we've got transition bounce here. And so we're gonna do the same for our next titles. play this from the beginning and you'll see our video just bounce straight into shot and we can choose to reverse it in the video so what we do is you simply simply click on the video clip and press the reverse button bottom of our screen and it will ask us to tap to reverse so we click on that and this will then generate a video where it plays in reverse so as you saw originally we went from left to right now the video is going to go from right to left it's quite a powerful tool for actually doing that. So once we're happy with that, we can click play and you'll notice our video is actually going in reverse. As you can see there, the bus is going back. So we're gonna delete one of our titles there. We're gonna remove these countdown titles because we don't need them in our video. So it's gonna count five, four, three, two, one, and then launch into our video. We'll put a different outro at the end of the video. So we're going to select one of our video clips and we're going to add some stickers. We've got some free stickers that we can put into our video. Come with the app and to simply put a sticker on your video, select the sticker that you want that's available and then you can pinch the screen in and out to increase the size and use your finger on the screen to maneuver it to a position of where you're happy. So we're just going to put some cool shades on this guy. We can set how long we that to appear on our video. So you see as we move the slider along it shows where those glasses will appear. So we just want it to appear in this section. So now if we test the file, there are some glasses. It'll only show up for a couple of seconds, which you can adjust simply by pulling either sides of the arrow out. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some edits to the actual clip besides the sticker. So all we need to do is click on the pencil icon in the video clip you want to edit. You see here that we have a range of options to edit this specific clip. So we can take snapshots, increase, decrease the volume, duplicate, it, split, trim, and rotate. If we click on the bottom of our screen, then we're gonna place a filter over the top. So we scroll along to filter, then we can select different filters that we wanna use in our video. So for our countdown clip, we're gonna put a kind of glitchy effect over it. So on our title, 
video clip that we selected we've got a filter of glitch so again we're going to go in and edit the first video clip here and we're going to trim this down slightly as you can see we can also split the clip as well we can take a snapshot we can crop and we can select where our key burns is so we simply just move the image around with our finger we can zoom in and zoom out and once we're happy with that click the tick button and you notice the video clip zoomed in now and that's from us cropping it and saying how much zoomed in we wanted it to be. You can also add audio by clicking audio at the bottom of our screen and this will give us a timeline here we can choose to do voiceover we can put in specific effects or you can put some music in so if we click on music uh, there's a range of soundtracks that come free with the app and you simply just click on the download arrow to select the soundtrack you want to put in and that'll put that into your video so here we're just going to use this uh this one we've downloaded here which is just with you again you can scroll across the top and see effects music on your device and but we're going to put the just in here if we want to do uh, voiceover you simply grant the app access and once you do that you'll be able to record a voiceover for your video so we can see our stickers there that we've put in the video and you'll sit notice there's a cross at the bottom so we can actually add more stickers so if we click on that we scroll through our range of stickers Got this cool kind of lazy effect animated sticker and there's a selection of gifs we can put in there and you'll see here now that we've got two stickers so we get rid of the sunglasses one we focus on the lazy one which will appear in our last video frame so we can also add text into our video as well so if we click on the video clip we want to put if you scroll through the timeline to the video clip that you want to add text to then click on text at the bottom of the screen you'll see you'll be granted uh, a whole range of different style uh, templates that you can input text into so Put this glitchy kind of effect or scrapbook kind of effect or this little animation one we're going to use something cool like this edm one so then once you've got the style that you want you can tap to add text and you see here that you can also align the text to the left or the right or the center you can move the text box to different parts of our video and again we can select how long we want that text to appear for simply by pressing the arrows either side or where we want it to or we move it the slider to where we want it to appear in our video to so put this at the start we've got this kind of a day in sunny hole while our countdown's going and again we can you know edit that and we can add more text tabs as well simply by clicking on the plus button you also notice there's a range of different options at the bottom uh, when you're picking your style which allows you to change the color the font and the spacing between the letters of the text that you write so we've got this kind of nice animated welcome to the town center text there Again, like I say, we can change the colour a bit, we can add a border, we can add shadows to the letters, or we can put background to the text as well. We can change the colour of the background, so it just kind of pops more. And you see here that we've got our different text bars, so if we align this so that when the video plays, we'll have a text box at the, in the beginning title, and then a text box in the next section. So one of the other things is we can adjust the videos as well. So if you go into adjustments at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you can change the contrast, brightness, you can add colour, you can make it warm, uh, lighter. See, so we're just playing around with some of the settings here. We can add a vinaigrette as well. So you can really, really kind of make the, each individual clip quite a unique style there. also add more media just simply by clicking on the plus button uh, either side of our video clips and you'll see here we've got the option to import from our video library our photo library social etc but we're going to just simply add in a title and you'll see here just double tap on it to edit text if you want to this is what it will look like without any text within it so we're just going to amend this and again we can position where we put the text so we're just going to put some simple text in here using the edm effect so just type in something like thanks for watching as we're putting this at the end of our video click on ok and you'll see there it comes up with that effect now and we can change the color of our text again so it kind of makes it pop out a bit more and again we can change the font there's a whole range of different types of fonts that you can put in there. We've got this neon effect, 
jump effect so we can essentially animate our text for our title card which is quite a cool thing to do if you're doing this on a pc editing tool it's actually be quite difficult for it to achieve so you can do this kind of animation with text with ease or within the app so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to export our video so once we're happy with everything you'll see there's a square in the top right hand corner with an arrow if you click on that in the top right hand corner this will start to export your video and it's a pretty quick process and it'll actually play through the video as you're exporting it so you can see for yourself what the video will look like as it's rendering it and then once you've completed the export it will save a copy of it to your camera or save a copy of it within the app and then you've got various different options here so you can create a thumbnail you can share to youtube facebook to our instagram you can save it to your camera roll there's more small options as well and we can edit the thumbnail so if we go into the thumbnail we can choose to put a nice border on it different part of our video we can change the color the width we can put emojis in there and so the thumbnail is what will appear on the platform that you you've shared your video content to so for example if we're publishing this to youtube uh, it will use the thumbnail that you've created in the app um, as a preview for the video that you've created and you can put things like call to actions in the thumbnail as well so what we're doing here is just choosing the frame that we want to use the thumbnail for you can even just draw on it on the screen so there's a wealth of options there that you can we'd certainly encourage you to play around with when creating your thumbnail to post to social if you make any mistakes you've got an, uh, an undo and a redo tool and again we have more stickers emojis etc so once you're happy with the thumbnail click on the tick button in the top right hand corner and this will now save the thumbnail and you can save it to your camera roll you can email it you can edit it delete it do more and then the next step is to decide what you want to do next so we can share this so if we click on the more button this will show all the different platforms we can actually share to share the thumbnail to within the app and the same thing with our video so yeah we can we can share that and that'll come up yeah so we're going to go ahead and just save this to our camera roll and see now you'll see that it appears in our projects timeline it shows how many clips we've used in it what the file size is in terms of memory how much space it's taken up in the time that it runs for and again it will start to play as a preview so if we look at one that we created earlier where we have this picture in picture effect and so actually if we stop that and play the video we've just rendered and see there there's our reverse image side of things so you can also get additional effects to use within the app by clicking on the shopping cart some of these are paid some of these are free do take advantage of the free ones as well and it will show featured downloads that you can add into your app so we've got these kind of laser effects explosion different filters and more and this is constantly being updated on a regular basis do check it out so that's how to use vlog it on your android device do stay tuned for more street media tutorial content in the not too distant future thanks for watching